give you a little bit different kind of a problem today, but it has, it has to do with um, it has to do with something we've been working on, which has to do with area. It also has some things to do with, well, I'm not going to tell you because I want you to look at the problem and figure it out. What if I give you, and this one actually has to do with perimeter. Does anybody remember what perimeter is? Liam? It's the outside edge or something. The measurement of the outside edges. So pretend like I made a perfect square, and I told you that this was 13 inches. That's the symbol for inches. What's the perimeter of this square? So I've given you the information for one side of the square, but I want you to tell me what the perimeter is for the whole square. Take some answers. What did you get for an answer? Abraham? Anybody get a different answer? Who would like to explain explain their thinking? Who haven't I not have explained their thinking today very much? Lauren, I don't think you did very much. So um, you said one side of the square was going to be 13 inches. Mm -hmm. And so that there are four sides of the square, so that would be 13 times 4. Okay. And three, I knew three times three would be nine. You knew three times three equal nine. And nine plus three would be twelve. Nine plus three equals twelve. And then ten times four equals forty. And forty plus twelve equals fifty-two. Mm -hmm. Do you understand why she did this part? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Help her. Mm -hmm. Can somebody tell me help. how you know how that helped her, Katie? Well, I did it the same way. Um, there, there's the 13, and then there's the 3 from the 13. And okay. She's going to have to times that by 4, too, not just the 12. Okay. I did it the same way. You did it the <laughs> same way, okay. <laughs> Cody, how'd you do it? I knew that 13 times 2 would. Oh, well, first, actually, I started that. I knew 5th, because the. First, I had to add it all up, like 13 times 4 equals 52, yes. but I helped myself by uh, 52, I just took 13 plus 13 equals 26, Okay. and I knew 20, and I knew 52 divided by 2 is 26, so the answer had to be 52. Okay, so you knew that those two together would make the 52. Okay. Let me draw, yeah, this is the last one. Yes. I've got to use a big number, so. You know. How about 49 divided? Oh, I used cursive. <laughs> oh, we can read cursive. We need practice. Okay. Yeah. I can read cursive. Okay. Yeah. Here's the information in it. That I can't, I can't read that. Okay. So here we go. So take a look. This says the area of this rectangle. Okay. I'm going to move it around so you can see it. There's no problem yet. The area of the rectangle is 1,432 square units. Here's the question. How could you and another person share this rectangle equally? Mm. Pretend like it was a piece of land or something you were going to share equally. Put a thumb up when you have an answer so you can tell. Who, okay. Put your thumb up when you can tell how much each of you would get. Okay. What did you get for an answer, Jonah? Um, 716. Somebody get a different answer? Miranda? I got 717. Okay. Somebody get a different answer? All right, so who would be willing to explain their thinking? Jonah, tell us how you thought about it. I, um, I split the 1,400 in half. Okay. Um, and I, I knew that... And you got what? Seven, seven hundred. Okay. Um, and I knew that um, I used lower numbers like fourteen and seven to figure it out. Okay. 
Because I took away half of that and that equals seven, but okay. what did you hundreds? Have? Okay. So I got seven hundred and then um I split I split the thirty and half to make fifteen. Okay. Um added that to the seven hundred. Okay. Got it. And I split that two and a half to make one each okay. and added that to the um, 715 yeah, equals 716. Zach? I did it at the beginning like Jonah. I took the 1400 and split it up okay. into 700. Okay, so you had 700 plus 700? Yeah, okay. kind of. Like 700. Yeah, okay. and then, well, since I had the 30 and 15, and 15 makes 30, I think. Yeah, 15 and 15 makes 30. Mm -hmm. So I added that um, 15 onto each. Okay. And then all I had to do with the two and the one is just put it up and put them together. Put one on each one of those. Um, That's right. Okay, Charlie. I'm just doing this, guys, but I did the 17, the 1400 divided by two, and that gave. So you said you were thinking of it as division. Yeah. Okay. It gave me 700, and then I divided 32 by 2, and then it gave me 16. And I added 716. 716. Anybody do it totally different than any of these ways? Mm. Miranda? I'm just saying, um, cross off my answer. I forgot to split up the 2. Oh, all right. There you go. Good.